Hi guys, so welcome back. Welcome. We're jumping into episode four of Oshinoko. The episode is called Actors. So this is a follow-up of Aqua deciding to pick up this drama, I suppose you could say. And he decided to take up the role of being the stalker in it. And he's investigating the director, right, of this current TV show. He has one of his names was inside uh, I's phone before. I think they said before she debuted. Um, on her own, per- her old personal phone. So to clarify the misunderstanding from last week, <laughs> I highly recommend people do, if they're gonna comment <laughs> uh, about things I say in my reactions, I highly recommend that you watch the review at the end because I typically take that time to address a lot of things I've said or seen. Yeah, I came down basically to the conclusion that You know, possibly he was mainly um, zoning in on that specific name as an opportunity to address that name since he can finally come into contact with a name that was on the phone. Um, My reason for believing potentially that this name stuck out to me is because when they showed him the past him, first time looking through all the names, they showed that name and his eyes widen. So I'm not sure if maybe that play was kind of not meant to be taken in the way that it did, but showing his eyes wide and on this name in the past, when he first saw it, made me think, why did he react that way upon first seeing this name? But I'm assuming now that his eyes widened potentially because of all the names he saw. But like the way they showed it made it seem like it was that name in particular, which is why I had that idea that like, why this name? But I think I came to the conclusion, I did come to the conclusion that It's more so that he's like addressing the opportunity of that name to get to know that name and rule it out. So we're jumping into this. This is a follow up of them on set, I believe, if I remember correctly. And it's called Actors, which I really like. So let's get into it. observation and let's get this right and to just be the object of that (laughs) he's a straw One star, bro. We can't have people simping for the for the stalker, though. <laughs> That moment is supposed to be like, and the home is just not giving. <laughs> the intonation is just not there. Like, <laughs> that sounds like an F boy. That is literally the moment danger happens, like right after he said that pickup line, danger shows up, and you're like, where is he? all the right things I will let you be alone nah. <laughs> oh my god 
Especially because she's a fan of the moment too. His shoes though. It seems like he did that on purpose. I feel like he did that on purpose. He did that on purpose. I think he walked deliberately on the puddles to give that like someone approaching like it's quiet and then he did that on purpose. He did that on purpose. The puddles. Props, the canvas, the lighting, the actors. That's an amazing skill, by the way. That's an amazing skill. Shadow looming. Loom over him. No? Huh? Oh my god! What? He brought out actual anger from him! Stop! Stop! Thank you for understanding. Imagine they're like, cut, cut. <laughs> Yo, imagine they really can't understand like when a scene is good or they just want to keep it to a T. And so they see this and like, cut, cut. <laughs> so where? Oh my goodness. He just, he's just heated now. So his emotion is much better. Oh. Oh my god. The highlight of this scene. Don't even lick it. Don't even lick it! <laughs> oh my god! To have to play this role is really trippy. To have to actually play that role considering what happened right before your eyes. Aqua. Wait, why do you say you can't act, sir? Do you hear your voice right now? Your voice right now. Sending you all up in my business, like. <laughs> I, why do I feel like those are real tears? She needed this scene so badly, and he delivered it, and I feel like she's really relieved. Like, she, these are real tears. Look at his face! Oh, he's happy! You can't do that on set, though. You're not supposed to be smiling like that. <laughs> Oh my god, Aqua! You killed it! <laughs> nice. A mess! Don't tell me she fell in love with Aqua though. I don't blame her. Like, that was so chivalrous and like knight in shining armor type moment. In, in acting form. So like, I don't blame her, but like, oh my God. I feel like that's what they were telling us. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Yo, this is valid. Depending on where you sleep, it's a nap and it knows it. <laughs> Wait, why did it not occur to me that that was the author I just noticed? I really want a flipping screen like that so badly like a vertical one i don't know why people have that and i've seen some really cool setups oh my god i'm so jealous of some people's setups bro ah! and they have that and i'm like literally why but absolutely yes <laughs> we know for sure demon slayer is just that's not the same like there's a lot of shows i think attack on titan 2 a lot of anime have really actually done justice to the manga and actually blew up the story even and brought it way further than it could have reached. So, but probably a lot of shoujo didn't deliver as it should, maybe. That's pretty touching. Mm -hmm. 
That's cute. You go, Aqua. That's proper. Did that say Oshino Sushi? <laughs> I just need to know. Oshi Oshino Sushi. Yep. Sponsors too. <laughs> She's asking. <laughs> Let's talk about the stalker too. <laughs> Sorry, but he killed it. <laughs> but it's true. The whole show, the stalker showed up mainly near the end. Like the whole show was probably her, for real. Dang. The way he's looking at him. Yeah, he's like, I don't gotta kill you. Whoa, why does he have this expression when saying that, though? Because mind you, they don't have to be related. Like, we don't have to assume that the person that actually was behind this was in fact the father. Just because the father was who I was talking to, that doesn't mean somebody else did not get this information through the father by either tapping his phone lines or maybe the father said stuff to some people he had no business saying to, looking through his phone, anything. Like, there's other ways for someone to get rid of somebody. It doesn't have to be the father, even though the father seems like the main su suspect, right? You know what I'm saying? Did his eye change? Hold on, hold on. I just want to know how it was before. <laughs> it was white. Often, I often saw her up close. His eye. <gasps> yeah. You often saw her up modeling. So photos. As a photographer, for sure. What? Wait, no, 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 no. I introduced her to quality clients, recommended good restaurants and such when she was meeting up with a guy unbeknownst to her agency, also like when she was dating without her agency knowing. Dang, that's a very direct question. Even after her passing. <laughs> oh shit, he said I am. What? Don't be Don't be a creep. Pictures? <laughs> Wait, that's kind of epic. I kind of look forward to that. <laughs> what? Oh, that's how it started. That's, oh my god. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm not used to like an anime, like a dating show. Like, just I don't know, but like that that should be interesting. <laughs> Did he cut his hair? Because it looks different. <laughs> I thought Ruby. Yeah, I feel like that environment at this school could be so toxic. Like everyone trying to one up each other. Facts. <laughs> No, no, you're not outshined. In fact, you might become the top. In fact, you could intimidate the other girls. Oh, we got a pink haired baddie, though. <laughs> pink haired, big chested baddie. Her accent! She has an accent, too! Is she faking? Because that's a bit, that's a bit too spot on. She's like a cute country girl. Oh, so it is a genuine Kansai accent. Vibe? It's fake. I knew it. I was like, I feel like she's just doing that. <laughs> right, I feel like that's true. <laughs> yeah, 
you know what? And just pick your friends wisely. Like her, she just lashed onto the first girl that spoke to her and calls her her friend. Like what? Who? Whoa, look at her eyes. Wow, her eyes are kind of scary, but they're very piercing and bright. You know what I find really interesting in anime and stuff like that is that a lot of the times they'll have very pretty character designs, all kinds of hair colors, all kinds of aesthetics, but then typically the one that is viewed as the most beautiful tends to be more simple. Like they'll have black hair, probably long and straight, and just this very like simple, elegant beauty. And you know, they'll have all these, like the blonde, the pink, the big eyes, the colorful eyes, the big chest, all these things. But then typically the one will have a more simple features in a way, in a way. Is he just going to go up and talk to her? <laughs> it was good like would you say that overall or oh she pays attention to other people <gasps> his sister what is it you do upcoming idol <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> she feels behind. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I preferred your hair before you did the side cut. Because the side cut looks a little messy for some reason. Wait, what, 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 what? If it's a freelancer you want, I know someone. Wait, I actually thought of her, but I immediately brushed her off as well because I'm like, she she has other jobs and she's, a, she's an actress and she does other things and she must be signed to someone else. Like, I didn't think, I didn't think you could take her or that you, she would even want to be in an idol group. No way, actually? I did not, I, I literally thought of her, but I immediately figured that would not be a thing. Bro, were the lyrics always here? Because I know I looked them up last time. Were they here this whole time? I really liked that episode, like, a lot. I really, really liked that episode. Starting from his acting at the beginning, that was so cool. And then um, how they how he managed to manipulate the scene and everybody, basically. Everything following that was also just nice. And then also getting introduced to the school. Getting introduced to the school, it's not yet clear what this school life is gonna look like. It's not yet clear, but I guess we're gonna see. We're just getting into it. Everyone is renowned in some way um entertainment business etc not sure what to expect but i do look forward to it and i look forward to him getting closer to what he's interested in as well as the fact that he asked homeboy who was she dating in the past and then he said i'll tell you on account that you join a dating show which like whoa i look forward to it guys i hope you guys do as well leave your thoughts down below no spoilers and i'll see y'all again in my next video so thank you and bye